okay back on the scooter again today I was in central London um, for my main job these are the bits I'm bringing in today which is uh, it's my analyzer in the black bag uh, u-gauge multimeter the thing to hold the phone for filming the boiler stat and my tools hopefully that's all I need and hopefully this is going to be fixed hopefully okay so here we are on arrival today Got the water on and the heating on. Oh, I know it says towel rails there. Let's check. Towel rails are open and hot water is open. So that's good. The ground floor racks are closed and the upstairs racks are closed. And the boiler is running, although you can't see that. I'll cover the flash. Oh, maybe there you go. You can see the boiler running in there. So to cool it down, I'll turn it off completely and we'll open upstairs rads and put it on the latch because obviously we're going to be doing the boiler stat so it's going to be uh, red hot. Okay so I actually opened both valves um, here, boiler stat off, so we'll let that cool itself down a bit before I open it up and have to work on it. So the light in the cupboard's not working today. So it's gonna be a bit dim. Quickly visual them case seals now. First time I take it off, and they're all good. Okay, so I'm going to turn the power off now. Still red hot though. Hear them valves closing. screws, pull the knob off, and let's swing down. And now, something I always do on these sorts of things, I'm gonna just have a little peek in here with a phone. I'll usually just take a photo of this so that I can't forget what way around all them wires went. Really simple way of uh, keeping a record. I'm going to try and remember this by saying purple, red, brown, PRB instead of PRV. Just pull that out of the way for now. There's a bung here. I'm going to take that out of the side here. Little bung that the uh, see how that's focus. There you go.
under the air pressure switch here is a little clip that they both go in. So that's the overheat stat, the one that's your, the, the copper one you're looking at down there in that clip, and the one that I've just pulled out. This one is our boiler stat and pump overrun stat, which ends up somewhere up there. all the way up and it's either this one here or it's the one up there on the pipe my guess is it's going to be that one there um, but we'll see I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take it out of all these little clips and work out which one it is and swap it over I might not be able to film that because uh, I can't get the angle I'll see if I can get this uh, gorilla pod held on somewhere else okay after unplugging everything the one we want is that one there. So I've just got to remove the split pin and slide that out. Fit the new one in. Okay, when you're fitting new boiler stats, um, always start from this end, okay? The end where the stat goes. Uh, it, it seems like common sense, but it always feels nice to just put it in there first. But no, you have to start down here, feed it through all the way up to that point there. Otherwise, you're just going to take it all out and do it again. All right. Okay, so it's... It's nestled in there and the lead at the moment just goes off over there somewhere. I don't know where is it? There's the end of it, there it is. So now I'm gonna get the wires in here and put the screws in to hold that. Then I'm gonna get it in the clip at the bottom with the overheat stat, get that grommet back in, then I'll worry about feeding it all the way up there and into that pocket with some thermal paste. Okay, so this is it up there. It's in all these clips and all the clips are closed again. Just get a bit of this thermal compound. This stuff's so difficult to get off your hands, but it's, uh, it's going on there. Like that. Say like CPU on a computer, it's not uh, it's not that technical. Just get it on there. So I'm just going to clean that up and I'll get the split pin back in it and I'll clean these up as well. So while I'm in here now, I'm going to do a visual with the boiler. I'm going to do it with me. It's okay, where's that crust? It's from the leak that's come from above. It's, uh, it's solid though. Just come for a screw or whatever up there. 
who looks very normal for a boy of this age. Nice shoes. The only thing I do have to do is take out all the screws, all the them around here so I can have a look in there and just check the insulation panel, which I'll do right now. There we go. All the baffles look okay. Burner all looks okay. Everything looks all right here, so I have to get it back together and test it. And obviously the insulation panel is fine. Right, again, when you do things like this, with these screws, um, see they're all loose, they're all in now, um, but every screw is loose. Oh, I can't see because I'm trying to do this for the camera. See, they're all loose, get them all in. That way it gives you a bit of room to Wiggle stuff if you need to. Um, so yeah, don't forget about that. Always just do them all loose and then do them all up at the end. I'll just show you this. The stats in Warren's as it was, grommets in. Okay, so this is how I'm going to test it. These were uh, on and on, give it demand. This is how we test it it's on now, power's on. Boiler stat's still on zero, we turn that on, the boiler should run, and it's starting to try. Pump's obviously running. Oh, no, we done, we left the air pressure which runs off. Don't. Boiler's lit and running. Let me cover this again. No boiler's running. Okay, I'm just doing my safety checks. My phone battery is low. Um, so, you know, I've got my gauge there, my analyzer's just sorting itself out. Um, I'll just show you how I know it's fixed. So, we've got the boiler stamp off. I mean, the boiler would be running right now. Pump is running. Everything here is on. Now, if we turn these off, That one off. If that pump stops, which it has because it's cool enough. Yeah, if this pipe was red hot still, the pump would stay running because of that stat. So I know the pump will stop running now. I know the stat is working simply because with them off, the pump stopped. Um, and that's only because the overrun didn't begin because the boiler is off and it's, it's, I mean it's not cold, it's still relatively warm but it's not, it's not scorching hot, I can hold it so it's you know, it's less than 50 degrees. Okay so it's all on, let things warm up, the boiler stat is still controlling it all. Yeah, that originally it was clicking on the zero. Now that it's warmed up a bit, it's clicking further down, further round. So the boiler stat is working. It does turn the boiler off. Let's turn this off now. Number one. Number two. And now that it's all hot, the pump stays running. Demand is gone. Boiler stat's still on and everything. The pump is running. So because the boiler is still hot, the pump is running. Uh, so again, now that I've 
I've tested it every which way. I'm just, while I tidy up, I'll just keep a note and see, hopefully that pump will cut off. Okay, so the pump's still running, um, but, and here's the bypass, it is very hot. Very, very hot. So, to test this stat, I'm gonna hopefully try and lose some heat in uh, just in another circuit just to prove to myself that it's uh, it's gonna work because that is scorching so that's the reason that hasn't shut off yet because it will only work once the temperature comes down and obviously there's a huge chunk of cast iron in there so it's just a waiting game um, I'm sure with that circuit I mean, all, I've, all I've done with the circuit open is I'm speeding up the process of it, um, of it cooling down. Because the circuit here is literally from that pipework there, down the pump, through this bypass and back up. It's literally about two meters. So it'll take up quite a long time to dissipate that heat. But hopefully, any second now, this pump will click off. We will see. I don't know whether to film it or not because it might take forever or it might not. My phone's low battery as well. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Just make sure, come on. Just want that to click off. It's quite hot still, can't hold that for very long. Um, go off. Hey. That's still on. Pump's gone off. You heard a little click from the stat. I want to jump up and down and shout yes. But, yeah, the customers know that I have no faith.